Let's get more markers here. Okay, I'm gonna just try and throw fucking it at it randomly. Yeah, I didn't do it. I think I work. Oh, didn't do anything there. That is pretty big. <laughs> this is more powerful than the railgun. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, actually, I haven't tried. Show me your eye, motherfucker. It's, uh... I don't know. Oh, there it is. Oh, okay. just on the side there. Can you hit it? Oh, I got it. Stop yours in the way. <laughs> not like it was necessary. <laughs> like your your luck is fucking my marker. Dodge that. Are you your. That's disgusting, Mike. How did you your rock get something You know what you did. <laughs> so you didn't even take your helmet off, but I took mine off. Oh, hey. Damn a scavenger bot. Oh, no, you blew off! Yeah! There we go. Get over here, Marker. Necromoon, are you even trying? Does what the mark is that? Does the Mech Necromoon even lift? Get this shit out of here! Now there's a tie. Yep, there's the mark. Okay, you got it. There we go. I know, I did it. I guess that's the end of Dead Space. Charging plate and try to drag it over. Just hurry, man, before that thing recovers. Hey. Wow, we're ripping through its stomach. Ripping bees. What's going on? Up there. Thanks. What? So this is it, huh? We use that codex. Yeah. No more bullshit. We die here now. But Earth gets it tomorrow.
Isaac. Isaac. Are you there? Carver? Isaac. You're gone, aren't you? The marker signal. It's gone too. Isaac, you did it. You really did it. Earth space coordinates confirmed. Shock drive enabled. Standing by. I guess that's the, that's the end, but this looks sort of still like a cutscene. I guess it's give us credit, so. Oh. Uh, so, what do you think, Ken? Should we find the talk over? Oh, wait, no. We're looking down. <coughs> no, 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 never mind. Look. All right, now we can talk about it. So, what do you think? Ken? All right. I think overall, I enjoyed the game, but towards the end, it just needed to stop copy pasting levels. <laughs> like again, it was optional shit, but optional shit is pretty much like, don't ignore this, please. We put this in the game, please play it. This was. Um probably a couple of hours longer than it needed to be because they had like the backtracking and all that kind of crap but didn't like the fact that they padded it out like that like if they could have just left that out and it would have been fine uh i don't know it's like i think some of the co i think some of the missions were like actually the, like the, the, the optional one i think they were actually on target some of them and then someone just kind of like oh um yeah want more loot no thanks i'm full like, literally, I... Yeah, during some of the parts, I was just kind of like, this is just literally here just so we waste more time, kind of thing. So, you know, it was it was an okay game, I'd say. Um, from a PC perspective, it was a... I, I consider it to be actually a pretty bad port, because the menus were meant for an analog stick, and I really I really hate that, because it's not very communicative, communicative that at all. Because uh, I had trouble I figuring think... it out at the beginning of the bench stuff, remember? Yeah, but I think I'd still defend the port. Like, no, it's not a great port, but it's not the worst port I've ever seen. It was playable. The UI was meant I didn't, I didn't for any console. Point. That's it. It wasn't meant for PC in mind. They, they, it was ported as an afterthought, and it's, it's very clear what the main platform of development, development was. And I don't like that. I don't like that at all. I don't know. Because it also doesn't help the whole origin. Like I remember, like we have a lot, of, we had a lot of trouble getting this working for origin. Well, not a lot of trouble, but like <laughs> don't get me more than should have been. Don't, okay, now you're gonna get me started on that. Uh, so people didn't understand. I had a huge disclaimer in the comments, and and some people get know my stance. Some people don't. I'll make a brief. Um, I don't normally buy EA games or do EA games because I don't really approve of their business practices with respect to. We talked about the DLC at one point. I don't like the fact that they're forcing me to use their digital distribution service because the whole reason they do that is because they want to uh, they want to milk all the money out of that basically because they they make when they, when you pay sixty dollars on Origin you get they get all that sixty dollars back and they love that obviously because it's EA they 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 love nothing more than money uh, opposed to you know when you think of like retail console sales and things like that um, you know some has to go to GameStop some has to go to Microsoft you know some has to go to the CD it's a physical product product and all that kind of shit. So, they, you know, they make about, I don't know, maybe like $10, $15 profit on a $60 game or something. Like, I don't know how much, like maybe like 40%, maybe that's that's exaggerated. Maybe like they get like a 40 to 50% profit on each sale. On the PC, they get 100% of that. So 
like for every one, uh, f sorry, for every like let's say three console sales, it's like one PC sale. That that's an amount of money you're getting. So you would think they would put more time and effort into the games they make for it, but then you get like crappy ports kind of thing. So I don't want to use their service if all they're going to give me is basically afterthoughts, you know? And so that's why I refuse to do it. Only reason we did it, uh, they didn't get any money from me. And I do it purely out of a, uh, not really moral thing, but like, you know, I disagree with it. So Pete, me personally, I don't want to give them money. If you do it, I don't really give a shit. Uh, just don't go come complaining when they do something like SimCity where they basically fuck everybody over and, and make it... Because they don't care about quality, they just care about money. And you just have to understand that when you buy the A title. So, that's that's it. I'm, I'm SimCity, man. Yeah, it's still terrible. Uh, like, I want to take a moment just to clarify here that Mike isn't necessarily bashing the developers, he's bashing EA. It's a pu it's completely the public. Like, I think Visceral... I think, I think the first half of the game, where you're in space, really sort of shows that Visceral wanted to make a nice, like, sort of, space game. Because like, I think they really got to explore a lot with, like, kind of, like, the whole, you're in space, you need oxygen, and that one mission where you're on that ship and there's no air. I love that mission. I think if the second half of the game was more space exploration, like, a bit more well-explored, like, sort of got more into it, I think I would have liked this game a lot more than I, like, right now I say it's about maybe an average game. Good, but I wouldn't wouldn't play it again. I would say if they made that the core focus of a game, just a space exploration, kind of like a dead space. It could be dead space. It doesn't matter. Like you're exploring ships and stuff. That would be that would be fun. That would be a good. That would be a good game. And even though I did like, like as I said, overall my experience was, I I, I liked the gameplay of it. It was fun. Um, I think that it was just as I said. I thought it was just too long and. Uh, and no, the, the weapons were... The weapon customization system was kind of cool, but you spent, like, way too much time doing that. Uh, but what if I... Knowing, knowing what I know now, would I still pay money for it? No, because I don't want to give money to EA, so... I don't think I'm going to change my, my mind just on once that again, anytime soon. I just want to clarify that when we say it's too long, we don't mean that we hate long games. It's just... It's not long because it's, you know, more content. It's long because it's padded. Yeah, because I was using relatively the like, same weapons since like basically the halfway mark and I saw no reason to change it. So like literally this, the second half was like so much, it could have been half, half of what it was. And I would have been satisfied. It should have been actually, I think, in my opinion. Hmm, I don't think it's really half, I just think there's a few optional missions that were just kind of meh. Like if I was doing a second time playthrough, I don't think I'd even go do the optional missions because it just doesn't seem worth it. No, but you got to see Carver's perspective. Like, you saw our safes, right? No, no, you, you got to see Carver's perspective. I didn't. No, I meant the option, optional missions where you actually just not come up at all. It's just optional. Well, we just did it to be completionist. Like, the core missions I thought were pretty good. Well, yeah, I know. One thing that worries me is that apparently I think we actually missed a core mission. I don't think so. I don't know where it is, though. Eh, whatever. So I was the person that Usually was it's on the way. Free. It's on the way all the time. Yeah. Mm, uh, you're right. I I don't know. I don't know how we could have missed it. Because they, they make it really obvious. Like we went, we walked past the elevator, and you're like, oh, I want to go in there. Or that you saw the. It's literally a cutscene tells you there's a call mission every single time. So there's no way we missed mm. it. Oh well. Well. <laughs> what what do you think of the uh, think the machine gun and the weapons and shit? Uh, <laughs> the weapons. I feel like a lot of the weapons are kind of just, you go to them, you try them out, and it's just, hmm, I could use this, or I could use this, which does it better, or does what I want it to do. It's like, I could use the rivet shotgun, but I had no knock whatsoever, so there goes my utility of knocking back the necromorphs. You, you at the part that irked me. We're playing on impossible difficulty, and at no point did I ever feel that anything was... There's only like yeah. one or two moments where it was truly like a little bit of a challenge where I actually had to try. Um, here's the problem. You have a universal ammo system. It is not survival horror anymore. It, it's just, it's, it, it, you know, Dead Space games weren't really, but now this is like the furthest thing from survival horror. Um, and, and like you have like, <laughs> it's, it's actually kind of terrible. I think in my opinion, like the whole, anyone who thinks this is a scary game or survival horror or anything, because it's just like, you have the Q key which basically pops med packs whenever you want, 
that's basically regenerating health mechanic as, as, so, as long as you have med packs, which the game gives you an ample supply of. Uh, as long as you're not an incompetent little bitch. That's that's all you have to do. Um, I haven't seen any other Let's Plays of this game, but I, I can't imagine anyone being scared. And honestly, if if, they're, if you've seen someone like do a Let's Play of this and they've gotten scared by it and they're like older than 13, they're hamming it up. There's no question about it. Like, you know, there's there's like a moment where something pops up and you're kind of like, oh shit, and then that's it. Not like, ah, what the fuck just happened? Kind of fucking. Dunno, I was pretty scared. <laughs> physics. Scared of, yeah, yeah, physics. That's the only reason to get scared. <laughs> to clarify, it's my, it's probably my graphics card, but I'm not changing it. It's beautiful. <laughs> Why would you? <laughs> well, I had, I had physics glitches too, but not quite on the extent of yours. I'm just going to say it's a buggy engine. That's that's all there is to it. Um, so, yeah. I, I don't even know what to call this game. Not, it's not survival horror. Um, what the fuck is action, it even? Action. A action what? Third person action, you'd say? Action, action. Action, action. That's it. Like, you have that what? Like, to be fair, they they didn't advertise it as survival horror. But going into the series, you'd think, oh, well, Dead Space 2 and Dead Space 1 were meant to be survival horror, but Dead Space 3 isn't. I wouldn't say they were ever scary, but they don't they don't seem to be going going in direction of making them scary. They're going in direction of making them into into shooters, basically. Like, you know, I like shooters and all, but it's eventually you just kinda you get bored of the same thing, you know, over and over again. Cause it's like they're they're trying to make a game for one audience and that's the shooter audience. And I am I am a I, mean, I am a shooter guy, but it's just too much. Come on, I wanna see something different once in a while. I don't know. But you can't really expect that from EA. They just follow all the trends and all that kind of stuff. I, I, honestly, everything terrible about any EA game, I blame it directly upon EA. That's it. It's just kind of how it works. Oh, well. Oh, and by the way, I just want to get us out the way before I forget. For anyone who wasn't uh, sure about the chapters say in this one, they say, Brother Moons are awake. Ooh. What did you think of the story, though? I thought it was <laughs> really badly written. I didn't think it was so so. I think it was terrible. I, just... <laughs> I, I don't. I, I, everyone knows that I don't really play games for story, but I can appreciate a good story. And just like this one is just like no. I know some people are probably gonna say uh, maybe like Hadlos is gonna say um, I wasn't reading the text logs or audio things, but you know, as I said, that's not what we were going into the game for. We were just kind of going to make fun of it and all that kind of stuff. But literally, without reading them, you kind of get the gist of what's going on. And like, it's, it's, I, I can't get engaged in it at all because it's just terrible. It's like, this is not how people should be acting, kind of thing. It's like Necromorph's business as usual. Well, you know, the mock is fucking them up. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. You say you're coming into it trying to, like, think it was terrible. I was kind of willing to give it a bit of a fair chance. And I think the game is good enough that I enjoyed it. I don't regret playing this. Well, would I pay money for it? No. If I paid money Not for really. it, I would regret no. it. That's, that's how it work. If I paid anything to EA, then I'd be like, shit, I just fucking validated their, their crappy practices. So that's why I don't do it. Helly? Helly? I guess this could be Dead Space 4 now. Well, that's where the DLC would pick up, I guess. Oh, yeah. New Game Plus have been out unlocked in the in the front end. Really? Okay. Now you can get a Legend suit and a plus three damage circuit is now available on the bench. Didn't we have that already? We had a plus three damage and plus whatever thing. Whatever. Yeah. It's like, oh, you finished the game. Have worse things you already have. Okay. We get a bunch of plus reload things, whatever. But that, you know, the first run, our first run was really easy. But, uh. Oh, wait, there's a, there's a hardcore mode? Yep. Yeah. Oh, fuck that, I'm not doing that. I, I already did it for Dead Space 2, it's really not that difficult, to be honest. Just play super Well, it's careful. different in this one. You can't save it all. Oh, you gotta do the entire game. But you can quit the game anytime. Uh, like, you can't save, but you can quit and, like, you can save, but you can't make multiple saves. If you die, you die. Ah. Uh, interesting. I'm not doing that. 
Oh well, uh, we're not touching the DLC, by the way, for anyone who's wondering, because so someone saying it's like, oh, there's some really good DLC for it. No, because that would be giving EA money. I'm not willing to do that. Hey, hey, you know what? If they do this, this humble origin bundle shit in the future, um, where I could just give all the money to charity, hey, I'm all for that. I'll, I'll, I'll do some of their games. Uh, otherwise, no. Uh, I already installed Origin as it is, and I don't like installing too many. Uh, I, I don't trust EA as as a because uh, they're greedy, right? Like you know, I, I trust Steam a lot more because it's from Valve, and Valve doesn't do greedy things, but EA does, and is willing to fuck their consumers over for more money. So why I, I don't really like having their software installed on my computer because who knows what the fuck it's doing? Because uh, you know they want they may want marketing data or something you know on you and or like you know fucking nothing stopping them from doing anything if you read that ULA. Um, so like pretty much at some point I'm gonna just format my computer pretty soon and just get rid of it when I'm done everything I want to do in Origin. That's it. So that's why I don't do Origin either. Um, I don't care if you think it's a competitor to Steam or something. It's like oh why don't you support it and fucking play their I like their games. You you have your fucking standards I have mine and that's that's how I'm gonna go about it. Oh, well. I mean, I I can't in good conscience support Origin. No. I mean, it's a subsidiary of EA, which has run so many good game companies into the ground. Like, <laughs> EA kills game companies. It's what Westwood. They do. Poor Westwood. Fucking Westwood, man. Yeah. And so that's why we don't support them. That's it. Uh, so you know, and as said, we don't. We're not telling you what to do. We're just saying why we do our thing. So oh well. Closing thoughts, Cant. Uh, closing thoughts. Uh, like I said, like I think it's a good game, but EA's like it stinks of EA. Like, come on, DLC where you can actually like, an in-game store to buy resources. <laughs> what the fuck? Uh, where is that even? It's I don't like, even know where that is. It's, like, it's in this. It's in the bench. It's like literally, there's a tab in the bench for you to buy resources. That's what you would use the uh, ration seals for, and also real money. Uh. Apparently we're. Like, uh, oh, you don't you want to actually? We miss some artifacts. <laughs> I, I'm curious about that. Where, where, where do you get? Where do you? Where do you get the? No, no. I, I'm. I'm actually. I'm genuinely curious about that. I just want to see it real quick, and and show everybody. Uh, oh, I think I'd have to load up a new save or something. Oh, okay, fuck it. Yeah, whatever. Okay. Uh, so I think I'm done uh, with this game. So uh, we'll see you guys uh, later for whatever next. Bye, guys. Bye, bye.